get all this. Going to Masters of the Universe. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tote full of goodness. So we're gonna try to make a deal for all of it. No deal made. No deal yeah. made. Tried to make a deal on a big old lot of turtles and Motu, Motu. but it was a kind of bumped me out. That other deal, not uh, now. That one hurts. It hurts the rest of the hunt when you when you yeah. can't seal the deal on something like that. But what if we could seal the deal? Should we go back and find out? Not another veteran of the channel. Got a rock turtle. There we go. I might pick him up depending on price because I got extra accessories. Okay. So. Do you have a generic price on toys in the bins? Okay. Soft head. Ooh. You need a softy dong, right? Yeah. I don't have any of the soft head turtles. I gave you one. Leo? Yeah. Not a soft head. He's not soft. Nope. <laughs> Quick spy over here. We got the PS3 Last of the Survival Edition. Got the yellow carded. Look at her eyes, dude. <laughs> oh she was, gosh. She's been doing something. <laughs> how, are, how are her eyes so terrible on this one? She had a good night last night, dude. Yeah, she, <laughs> she got turned. Yeah, she got turned it up. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, this is a classic collection one. We got another turtle back there. Donatello. In box Max. Really? Mike bought all of them. Mike did? Mike bought all of them. So. <laughs> yeah. All of them. How much were they? Like 15 or something. Oh. Yeah. 20 a piece, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We're just, we're, we're not on our game today. Yeah. We we got hurt with that one. We thought we thought we were coming in to make a deal. But we're going to find Boston Mike, because word on the street is that he's cleaning up at this show. So let's find him and see what he's got. What do we got here? Trying to get stuff? For you? Up your alley or no? Trey? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? TV Trey? Huh? TV Trey? Oh, TV Trey. I thought you said, say what's up to Trey. <laughs> I was like, what's up, Trey? All right, so let's take a look at Mike's haul. Oh, yeah, that's mine. One mine. We got a bunch of Mighty Max. We'll take a look at this outside, I guess. Yeah. Right? Outside? This bag's really heavy. Oh, yeah? Turtles, dude. Turtles. Turtles, dude. Complete. Complete turtles. Duh. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we're taking a little break and seeing See what it. Mike got. So See you got this whole bag for what? What was that? This bag. Uh-huh. And my... Mighty Max? No, no. What's that? What's that? Um, these. got both guns. Oh, eight now, eight now, eight now. What's eight that? Um, eight my day. The car, uh, Bebop and Rocksteady's Cadillac. Oh, okay. And it's pretty complete. You got uh, it. You got it too. All this. Yep. In the car. Get in the car. That's a good deal for all of that. Yeah. Those Mighty Max. Yep. And I got this. I'm pretty pumped about. <laughs> oh, I love that, man. Oh yeah, he's got his uh, weapon. He's got his Oh. $40 hairs. $40 hairs? $45 hairs. We got more stuff over here. Hi, guy. So what we got, dude? We got... Makes three vehicles. Yeah, so we got the Batman and Robin. Um, yeah, three vehicles in one. Let's see what we got. We can put it together. This? No, other way. Oh. Is there any worth anything, but. What you got down there, Davey? Got a lot of pieces to Batmobiles. A lot of pieces? Yeah. yeah. Three bucks, though, right? 
Yeah, but to to part these together, the stuff that's going to be expensive is the little stuff. What the stuff hell is that thing? Yeah. yeah, what is that a piece, dude? This? That's to the whole thing. So we got the entire. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a big ass headquarters set. Yeah. The back cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's. Big headquarters thing. That's a good piece, dude. Yeah. Dave, that's a good piece, but it's huge. <laughs> it's, it's gigantic. Well, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, it's from the... Um... Who's got the firepower to face crime every time? No question, it's Batman. Forever. The terrifying Two-Face strikes Gotham City, but Sleepwaker Robin rips in, and the mighty flight of attack wing Batman puts the fiendish face in his place. And in the sizzling Batmobile, Batman lights it up on a drive for justice, blazing in on these wicked wheels. He makes Two-Face pay twice the price. Heads, justice wins. Tails, evil, loses. No question, it's Batman forever. Figures and vehicles sold separately, batteries not included. Oh, we got some pickups. The complete Stratos with the new wings. Mr. January swooping in on the lot. 120. 120? That's a deal. That's a deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's a deal. That's a deal. And then I got uh, at another booth. I got uh, <laughs> a flip head Green Ranger. Yeah. A Shiro. Shiro. A Kenner Predator. I don't have that one. And the Blue Ranger flip head. I got them from that lady for 20. For all of them. Dude, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Hell yeah. Sweet. Well, someone's finding deals today. Maybe somebody is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So we wrapped up Retro Fest here in Fort Worth. My only pickups of the day. Only four pickups. Five dollars a piece. Uh, got Rocker Raff. I got Scumbug. I got Metalhead. Look at this. Look at that. Love that. Yeah, so the metalhead's awesome because we got the light mm -hmm. shining through, and then he's got his backpack, which the, you never see. Yeah, with the straps, and I got Pilot Dawn. I have his accessories so I can uh, get this guy nice and juicy for the wet nights coming up soon. Mike? Mike had let a me great interrupt day. this message. Show you the pieces I scored. Salute to Tori. First, I'm going to show you my pride and joy of this show for my buddy Dave here from Back Alleys. He brought me some wrestling goodness VHS. So, do you get a good deal on that from the Boston Mike face? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great deal. Great deal <laughs> on these. Phenomenal. What's the comps on that? Yeah. Comp show, check. Oh, Boom. Oh, they were gifts. You can't show comps on gifts. <laughs> and, I mean, I think I scored pretty good, dude. I mean, got some Mighty Max, some Complete Turtles. Um, yeah, those Mighty Max. Are yeah, good. sailed Mighty Max. And you got me and a little extra villains and heroes. Come on. That's cool. Man, you always that's lose them. Pack. Yeah. Um, got these for five bucks, dude. That's a deal all day. How much was this one? Ten. Yeah, and it's got the eyeball but too. I got all the tur this turtles, this, and these two. I think one fifty. The car is uh, Bebop and Rocksteady's Cadillac. Oh, okay. And it's pretty complete. You got uh, it. You got it too. All this. Yep. And the car. Everything together, all in three seventy-five. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's just do a once-over real quick. Show all the good pieces. Three ninjas, this is awesome. Rocky loves Emily. 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 What's going on? Rocky loves Emily. Rocky loves Emily. All right, guys, before we go, Craig didn't have any luck with the Target Hallathon this year, but I did, so I found what? The one piece he was looking for, the accessory set. I like it. Dude, so the only reason I really wanted this set is because of that. That one piece right there, out of all the pieces. So this is a really cool Target Holothon yep. pickup for 2023. So I'm gonna set that aside, but there is more. Wait, there's more. Because we're gonna do a throwback to a couple of our older videos. If you remember our last Retro Madness hunt, Craig was looking through and he found a beater mosquito and <gasps> Dude. All he needed was the gun. And then, ooh. Mosquito. Mosquito, that's my favorite. Dude, he's right got there. his gun too. That's sweet. So let me know if you guys get this because I, I just need to get that gun. <laughs> gun. So now Craig has a complete Mosquito in his collection. Dude, thank you. Here's another throwback. So if you've seen Last Hall of My Life and you check the comment section in there, you'll see a lot of people realize that Craig's scare glow didn't have the glow in the dark halberd. But yeah. the one in the movie did have a glow in the dark halberd. 1981. What? That's a 1981 Italian scare glow. Shit me. Dips. So 
I was able to come across an extra glow in the dark halberd to complete no way. the dark scare glow. Dave. All right, Dave. so that's it. That's let's awesome. go back to the halls. So wait, let's go back. back. So we could make a deal on that. I think we mentioned that before on that huge tub of Motu and TMNT. The guy did say at the end of the show, um, basically he'll let us know what he has left and if we want to deal on that again. So the question still remains, did we end up getting that bin of Motu and TMNT figures? Of course we did. When we made the offer, this the vendor was like, hey, you know what? This is a reasonable offer but let me see what I can sell at the show. And then whatever is left, I will definitely hook it up big time for you guys. So that's what we did. Some of the higher end figures were uh, purchased at the show that we didn't get. As you could see, Mr. January picked up that King Randor, um, that Orco that was almost complete, some other things. And then also Team NT wise, there was a King Lionheart that was complete and I want to say an anthrax that was um that was complete that wasn't there but that's okay that's okay we got a solid deal for everything that you're seeing here so we got some key figures we got this uh complete faker we got this saw rod from the movie we got this blade from the motu 87 movie and then a lot of common mostly complete tmnt action figures as well so the question is how much did you pay so originally our offer, we totaled everything up at the show per the price tags, right? Per the price tags that were on the bags. And I think the total was $1,241. So $1,241. We offered 700 plus over $200 in GBA uh, Pokemon games, which I think is a fantastic offer. I don't think that's low ball at all because one, you get $700 in cash, and then you got $200 worth of video games to sell at the video game show that you're currently set up at. So I thought that was great, a great deal. So with that being said, with some of these higher end figures not in the equation, I uh, went to the vendor's house two days later, and we ended up settling on $450 for everything that you're seeing here. So I think that's a fantastic deal. Both parties win, in my opinion. And uh, it was cool, it was cool. We got some figures that we were able to upgrade our collection with and also figures to to sell to like recoup that cost of what we paid. So everybody wins. As you guys saw in the haul uh, portion, Dave did give me Mosquito's gun that I needed for my Mosquito. So, so cool. Now I have a complete mosquito. tour. I got this guy back in like 2018 when I was in Kentucky and I've always been on the hunt for his gun. I'm very pleased to have this complete mosquito tour in my collection. So thanks Dave. And last but not least, wow. So this is a big one. As you could see, Dave pulled out that um, glow in the dark Albert for scare glow. So now I have a complete 1981 Italian Scare Glow. Very cool to add to the collection. So I got two bangers marked off the list, complete, and uh, it's awesome. So Dave, thank you so much. Make sure you check out the last haul of my life. It's a short that we did uh, on my channel. I'll have the link below, check that out. And if you like that, I also will have the link to purchase the feature film Retro Freaks, which was built around the last haul. So you can purchase that too and support us for the sequel. So guys, that will wrap it up for this video. Uh, patience pays off always. And um, especially when you have good people around you. So guys, until next time, peace.